Hey, what's hey, up, kings and queens? It's Theo. Say, yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyways, y'all, we about to <laughs> y'all. Say it's so beautiful, y'all. But, uh -huh. but y'all cannot tell me. It's an old joke. You cannot tell me she still don't look like zero from holes, man. Bruh. Come on, I'm you know with Shia LaBeouf. Why you got shit on your shirt? Why you trying to talk about something? Ain't somebody? no shit on my shirt. It man. is. It's still a stain. Why you trying to clean it off? Cause you spit on it, man. Nah, bro. Cause you was like, you was like, I don't know what, I don't know what, what did you know I don't know what shirt. you're talking about. I don't know what did you know. Zero, zero from holes need to be locked back up with Shia LaBeouf. Up this uh, shoveling, you know, two shovels in my hand. I got no respect, cause I'm the new man. Hey, anyways, y'all, we, so we got a we got a Burt Kreischer reaction, man. Burt I could, I could. <laughs> <laughs> I remember one time we did a uh, reaction to Burt Kreischer, and they talking about Burt Kreischer, cause they just picking at me, but um. <laughs> <laughs> I could have started off with a Mexican joke about your ass, but we talking about Mexicans with I this mean, Burt Price Mexican, um, so I video. Like, uh, I, ain't, I ain't gonna hurt my feelings. See, this is what you do, man. That's 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 not right, man. You eat eat the hashtag eat the salsa. Say eat the salsa. Let's Ooh, go. I love salsa. Hashtag oh, eat the <laughs> salsa. <laughs> Remember your kind. Hey, and I can I can tell these jokes because my daughters are Mexican. Well, not real Mexicans, but they watch a lot of Dora. So technically, I was finna say, I was finna say, wait, your wife, why do they wife? Has anyone ever seen Dora? Like a little buzz? It is the most racist show in the world. <laughs> it is. I swear to you. Have you ever seen Dora the Explorer? Okay, if I'm making any of this up, someone call me out. Okay, but and you tell me if you find this offensive. Every episode, Dora, who's a little Mexican girl. She gathers a group of Mexicans in their homeland, right? Isa, Tika, Benny, Boots. <laughs> what? Takes them on a journey. Oh, I hate that. <laughs> across a river. Oh, man. That, that's true, or though. Over that's... a fence. I'm not making this up at all. <laughs> To the other side where they meet up with their family and they get jobs or something. I don't know. They never they never follow through, but and do you know who stops them at the river every time? The grumpy old troll who lives under the bridge. Sounds a little bit like it's the border patrol <laughs> who lives under the bridge. What? I'm watching this show going, they should just call it Door the Coyote for Christ's sakes. That's what she's like. Take a baby. Go, 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 go. <laughs> Where are we going, Dora? We're going to Connecticut to get gardening jobs. Oh! <laughs> In Arizona, we'll stay with my cousin Diego. Then we're going to meet up with Baby Jaguar. Oh, I got to lock down. I love, I, I love living in LA. This is what I noticed about Mexicans. Latinos in general chastise their children better than any race in this country. Yeah, that's a girl that's been beaten by her mom. I can hear it. Oh, <laughs> man. Oh, man. A little man. shell shock, right? It's the truth. You ever heard? Have you ever heard like a Mexican mom chastise her children in the mall? Like, you know, you have two kids like screwing around, like, get a money gone. I'm not a money gone. Bingo. I'm not a big I'm not a chocha, chocha, chocha. I'm not a chocha, chocha, chocha. And then all of a sudden, the mom steps in, right? Mira! And everything with a good tan under four feet tall just stops. And everybody laugh, y'all reason. <laughs> oh shit. Here you go, Bert. <laughs> I'm in uh I'm in LA four years ago. I'm getting an elevator in the mall. And as I step into the elevator, I hear a ton of noise. Okay? And what it is is it's a Mexican woman and she's got four kids. She's got two in a stroller and she's trying to like, she's got my, her back to me and she's trying to relax them and they're just, they don't know English or Spanish but they're freaking out like <laughs> Oh my God. <laughs> it's true, I don't know anyone that has, but when your kids cry like your race is inflection. Latino kids sound like White kids are like, Slossin' G, Cossin' G, Karoski G. What? And black kids are like, Biatch. It's a very... <laughs> <laughs> so... <laughs> I can't. 
So I, she's got two in the stroller. They're crying. One kid's running around her, like, uh, singing some song in Spanish. I think it was La Bamba. I don't really know. Oh, man. And the fourth, now this is my boy. This is who I connected with. His name's Jose. He's by all the buttons. What was his name, Jose? Ringing the alarm. Yeah, just ring, like he's got something going on up here. Ring, 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 ba -da 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 -da. I walked in the elevator. I'm like, is it Cinco de Mayo already? What the? So I step in. At the time, four years ago, I didn't have kids. So when I stepped in, I didn't know, I didn't know what to do. All I knew how to do was give those like accusatory eyes, those like. <laughs> But I didn't have to do that because this is a Latino woman. I've never seen anything like this in my entire life, okay? I step in the elevator. I didn't even get a chance to get the eyes going. I was like this, and she turns around like a bullwhip and goes, Jose! <laughs> Did you touch that bell one more time? And you know what happened to you? <laughs> <laughs> and turns around, and it is silent in this elevator. Silent. <laughs> silent like someone just got a boner in PE class. Silent. <laughs> She scared me. I was like, ah! and instinctually she turns around. I guess like the guy in me, I just started giggling. Like, oh. and this kid starts getting angry, like just beat red, staring me down, like, and I lean in and I go, stupid. <laughs> This kid looks me back with that, that Latino machismo. Six years old, he stares back at me and he goes, laugh it up, fat boy. <laughs> and he punks me, because I'm scared of his mom too. What am I going to do? <laughs> That's when it dawned on me. I was like, oh man, I got to represent. Am I going to get punked by a six-year-old? So I start leaning in, right? Mad dogging him, just... <laughs> That's a business man, dog. <laughs> and I get an inch from his face, and I swear to you, he whispers to me, he goes, Make it a move, Maricon. <laughs> and I'm punked. I got nothing in my bag of tricks. That's when it dawned on me. I look at him, he's smiling. I look at his mom, she's not looking. I look back, I reach up, and I ring the bell. Get it She turned around, what did I tell you, Jose? He goes, follow me, it wasn't me, it was him. She goes, did you lie to me? Pulled out a knife, stabbed him in the heart. <laughs> True story. I love, I, I love living in LA. Alright, Theo, what's your best, do your best mad dog? Mad dog impersonation, like how you did. My best mad dog impersonation. Yeah, or like how you would mad dog. That's my first time ever hearing it. What the fuck you mean, man? You, you, you think you could take my cookies? Huh? They was Reese's peanut butter cups, and I know there was cookies in there too. And you, what? Not the funniest. Put <laughs> Yo, I cannot act worse shit. I'm just, <laughs> that's a, not, not the, the funniest. funniest. <laughs> hey man, what's your best mad dog, man? You see, I can't act worse shit. What's your best one? What? <laughs> you think you can touch my hair? Nobody touches my hair. You pussy. I knock your ass out. I knock your shins out. Fuck you. Uh. <laughs> your uh, your accent started coming out. I told you, I told you what she was. What accent? Yo, yo, home. Fuck you. <laughs> Anyways, y'all. The only thing I gotta say about this uh video is, man. Damn, man. Tom is fat. Peace.